Good day to the next issue of FADC News. Um, today I'm meeting on Ngunnawal land. Uh, I'd like to pay my respects to the elders past and present. And it's a glorious wet day in Canberra here. So uh, uh, to the traditional owners, uh, thank you for your stewardship of this amazing place. It's International Women's Day and we are celebrating in this issue a stories about the amazing women who work in many different types of field, recreational fishing, research, commercial fishing. Uh, it's quite a story about the women's contribution to our sectors. Uh, I really urge you to read it. While you're doing that, there's a great webinar series through the Women's Industry Seafood Australasia uh, on, again, a whole range of stories about women. So get onto the WISER webinar series and look at those amazing stories that they're profiling over the next few weeks. In this issue, we've also got um, some new research that we've just published on microplastics. Now, microplastics has been a real problem for us because the oceans are filling up with plastics, it's very topical, and there's a lot of concern that that plastics is going into our food chain. So the work that's just been finished by Nina Watton, a PhD student who's finished at Adelaide University with Bronwyn Glanders and Patrick and the team, uh, has demonstrated for the first time the quantity of microplastics that we've got in our seafood. The good news is we don't have as much microplastics in our seafood as other international benchmarks are showing. Uh, the bad news is there is microplastics there. And so uh, it's something we need to continue to understand more about what the role of this microplastics could play. To date, the work that we've done with Safe Fish, Alison Turnbull and the team, clearly demonstrates that microplastics is inert and doesn't affect the food safety, but we will need to do more research and uh, it's good to see Bronwyn Glenn Anders and the LA Uni team will, will be doing that. As we talk about microplastics, you know, you also ask what can you do, something do yourself. Uh, there's a lovely little story about the guppy bags. Now these are bags you can put your clothes in the washing machine uh, and they stop the microplastics in your clothes going out into the water and getting flushed into the rivers and the streams. Uh, so it's a fantastic way that you can do your little bit to stop microplastics entering into our water streams. Uh, the other one is uh, buy clothes that just don't have microplastics and go and have a look at things like Piping Hot who are, are dedicated to clean oceans. So Piping Hot have an amazing range of clothes. So there's lots of different things happening out there, which is quite exciting. Also in this issue is a whole story about animal welfare. And two parts to that, trying to understand uh, what are the things we need to do Across all different sectors to make sure that animal welfare standards and practices that we do are met in community needs. So we have this high trust of community that if you're a wreck fisher or you're processing or you're aquaculture or you're wild fishing for commercial fishing, uh, that you're doing the right thing and not just meeting the regulatory requirements. We're actually ahead of the standard and so there's a whole lot of work being done to make sure that we are uh, meeting the community expectations for animal welfare. And then the other part of the study is actually understanding the barrier for update. So finding out what stops us from actually ex adopting the best practice guides for animal welfare. So please, uh, in this FADC news, have a look at that whole story about animal welfare. And lastly, I just want to uh, congratulate uh, Valentin Tipo, uh, who has just been awarded the ABA's Young Scientist Scholarship from FADC for his work that he's planning to do on seaweed inclusions in the diet of ornatus, uh, a tropical rock lobster, to see if we can actually improve the health of ornatus with seaweed inclusion. It, very exciting work. Uh, I'd also, for those people who like LinkedIn or go and visit some of the work that Valentin's done, uh, he's just an amazing young scientist and uh, a credit to uh, all the scientists that work in our marine and aquatic environments and really encourage you to uh, go and see what Valentin's been up to. And lastly, just, uh, uh, enjoy this next issue of FADC News and until we talk next time, cheers.